Hi everyone, my name is Rose and this is my update for a beauty A to Z. I am only updating you on items I have like progress or I've used, so there's that. So let's just get into the items. First off, for number A, I finally started using my primer. I wasn't sure how, how many uses I would get before this update, but I actually got a pretty decent amount. I got, what, is that five? No, six. I got six uses for this update, so that's pretty good. I just, like, started using it because I finally finished my e.l.f. like, Jelly Pop primer. And, like, I'm liking it. It's, it's like, lotion-y. It just, like, is like a cream, and it, like, is nice. It's the number seven airbrush away primer. And it's really mini, so it's only like, it's only like 10 milliliters, so it should be gone really quick. But I don't know how my use this exactly is in here. I, I expect this to last at least another month, if not two. I could see two months easily, so like, I don't know. I may just work on this until it's gone and then switch to the other one that I want to use more in the summertime. Or it depends on how long this one lasts. So, I'll just see how it goes for right now. But I could... But I don't think this is the last, like, forever. So, yeah. Next is for B, which is my number 7 hot cloth cleanser. And I put B because there's the B there. And I used it two or three times again. <laughs> there's very little pocket. It's like, I, I use it, like, that much every time. But, I'm... Thinking about taking this with- I'm going away for like, basically, three full days. There's two days where I like, drive there and then drive back, which I'm not counting in the three full days. So, I'm thinking about taking this with me for the trip, but I haven't decided yet. My skin has been super dry and kind of irritated, so, like, I might just pack something else and then pack like a really rich moisturizer, because when I use this, I usually don't use- a moisturizer after because it usually leaves my skin pretty soft and like I almost feel like baby skin after I use it so yeah but I don't know I haven't decided yet so this may come with me then and then I will probably get more uses if it does but I don't know for sure so next is for D which is my DSL Shadow Crayon. My goal for this is to use this 20 times. And last time, this last month, I've used it five, six, seven, seven more times. So now it's at 10. It's halfway. I was really like not reaching for this. And then all of a sudden, in, um, in my Project 10 uses, I put in what was the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes. Which is what's on my eyes today. And this, I've just been using this every time I use that palette. And it just goes so well with it. So it's like, it's great. I can get this out. I think I'm still going to declutter it after, this, after I reach the 20 uses. Because, well, it's nice. I could just, it's kind of like hard to blend. And I feel like it kind of just stays tacky on the eye too. It doesn't like set down or anything. So... Yeah. So halfway, if I get on uh, next month, if I get at least another five, I'll be happy. So for n next update, I have, uh, I'm hoping to get five at least uses. So five more. Next, I finally started using the E1, which is the Elf Jelly Pop Moisturizer. Which I use this when I, after I remove my makeup, I put this on. This is a very thin. Uh, it was like basically all the way up to there. And now that's the new mark. It's right there. I've only used this maybe five times. Like I think I started using it right around the. When I started using the primer. So I've used this only like maybe three or five times. Something like that. Very little so far. And like. You you have to shake it every time before you use it. Otherwise it's going to be like liquidy in some parts and then kind of like clumps of what looks kind of like gel but not really and if you like shake it you gotta like shake it up real good then you can get like 
some pumps the pumps are really small in this too so I usually use like three to four pumps just to do my whole face so yeah it's going okay I mean I'm gonna use it until it's gone but I think I might be able to finish it off in this project because at, at first I wasn't sure if I would be able to finish it but I think I could get at least a good portion of it because it's like a really thin bottle like it's a tall but thin so I think I could get good use on that next just my uh, color pop I almost call this elf this is for G this is my color pop uh, what is this called brow boss gel I keep on wanting to call this boy brow but I know I know it's not boy brow but boy brow is like glossy that's what that brand is called I have never tried anything from glossy but this is a uh, shade in light brown I think it is drying up a little bit but I still can do my eyebrows really easily with it like I don't have to like just use the tip like I still wipe off some excess but I, but I can like be a little bit more like heavy-handed with this because like when I first got this I had to wipe off so much and I literally just like I used it like like that like straight almost <laughs> Because it was like too much product otherwise. But yeah. I mean it's in my brows. Every time I do my makeup I just use it. I don't tally for this. Because it's. Maybe I should. But I don't, I don't really want to tally for this. But yeah. I'm using it. It's in my eyebrows. Because my eyebrows are like blonde. <laughs> if I don't put anything in them. So they're like invisible. Just like my eyelashes are blonde. So there's that. And then next is for I, and that's the Midnight in Paris perfume, and I don't have a new line. <laughs> I have used this, not as much as last month, because like last month I could actually make a line. I think I probably used this ten times, so like, I kind of was like, I don't really want to wear this right now, and I was like in such a big slump, I like... I'm starting to like want, want to wear like perfume again and like read again because I was like in the biggest reading slump too. But yeah. So no new line but I probably used it only like 10 times. So like I, I need to use this at least 20 to 25 times to even make progress. So yeah I need I use so little. I use probably three, three to four sprays every time I use it and I don't. I don't reapply throughout the day. I just do it once if I do a day. <laughs> so it's like, it's a slow thing. If I might end up, because I didn't really have a set goal. I just wanted to like use this as much as I could for this. But if like, uh, by like halfway through this project, I may roll this out just if it's like, being really slow I'm having trouble like reaching for it because like I'm just starting to get into perfumes and like this doesn't really bring me that much joy so it's like I'm gonna let myself take that out at the halfway mark if I really want to but that's like still far away because it's like what like a quarter of the way through or something I don't know something like that but that's what I Next is for J, and that's this Jordana lip liner, which is what's on my lips today. Uh, and I used that six times. Where is the paper? Well, it went from there. No, <laughs> I was like, it went from there to the <laughs> wrong line. Okay, uh, it went from there to there, which I only used it once more than last update. So I don't know why there's like that much. Maybe my lips have just been drier because I find that when my lips are drier, it like uses more. And I'm trying to, because I have a tendency to make it kind of lipstick shape when I use it. So I'm trying to just flatten it and keep it like flat instead of, you know, that angle, angle thing. But this is it all the way rolled up. So I'm hoping that I can get a lot of use on it especially this next month this next month because I put really easy uh, lip product in my product of 10 uses so like I can just focus on this and so this next month I'm hoping to get 
really good progress on it. Like, at least five. <laughs> Even though last time I, I used it five times. But I'm hoping to get another good, like, maybe use it, like, just as much as that. <laughs> I don't know. If, if I did, then that would be almost gone. So that's good. So, yes. I'm gonna keep using it and reaching for it. And there's that. Next is for the letter. I'm gonna do K and what letter is the other one for? Uh, w. K and W. I'll show you where it was last time. And this is for W, this is for K. As you can see, there's like a decent amount of... I, I don't know. I have no idea. I haven't even looked at the picture. I should have looked at I usually try to look at the picture before I film, but sit, sit down to film, but I forgot. <laughs> so, yeah. So that's the bronzer. The bronzer usually shows progress every time, though. It's a little bit of progress, but it's progress. This, I have not really... It looks the same, and I don't want to make it fall out. I am maybe to try to hit pan on this more. Like I may try using it as eyeshadow just so I can hit pan. Cause I think once I hit pan, I think I might get rid of it. Cause I've been panning it for like three years now or something, and I'm kind of tired of it. Even though I really fell back in love with it in January, I'm just like by now I'm kind of tired of it again. But, yeah, the blush I used 10 times, and then the bronzer I used 13 times. I have both of them on today, but, yeah. Next is for M, which is the MAC Pretty Please, which I use with the lip pencil. So, I have six uses on this. Mine looks kind of gross. Mine is developing this, like, dip in the middle too I don't know how that is happening but yeah because usually when I use like the lip pencil and this I clean it off every time but since I'm panning them together kind of I haven't been doing that so it's kind of like uh, looking but yeah six uses on that next is I finally have use on my doll Letter N, which is this nail polish thing that I made with putting a blush in there. And I was not, like, I painted my nails with this, what was it, yesterday? Yeah, it was yesterday. And, like, every time I paint my nails with this, I've only used it twice. And my goal was to use it, like, five times. So it's not, like, a really hard goal or anything. But, um, it, like, just doesn't dry and it kind of like just can just and it comes off even without like a peel off base coat or anything so yeah I think I may just try to use it in the next three times and then um just roll this out so I can like maybe declutter it or something I don't know it still it still works on my toes because it's never done that on my toes so I don't know why it's doing that but we'll see we'll see next for the letter what letter are we on Q I was like what letter is this this is a turquoise C's nail polish I think last update is when I told you guys I got like I was gonna get acrylics or something so I wasn't sure how my acrylics are now off but my nails are kind of dried out and the peel off base coat is not really working that well but I did use this once, and then I painted my mom's nails with it once, too. So it got, so with two uses, it got there. So, yeah. So I'm probably going to take it easy for the next, like, month and, like, try to let my nails grow out a little bit. I don't know. I don't have any nail oil, because that would help, because my nails grow twice as fast with no nail oil. But, yeah. So, I only used that a little bit, but I still, I still had enough to make progress marks, so, yeah. And next is something that got a super big amount of progress. And it's really surprising. It's the Sesame Street Lotion. And I don't know how it got so much more progress than last time. 
But you see, see, you see, last time I, and I didn't change the way I used it or, or anything. Like I feel like I used it more. So I, I think the only logical explanation is that maybe I mismarked it in the beginning. But yeah, so it got a lot of use. But yeah, so I think. I think I mismarked it, maybe. I don't know. So, yeah. I think if it does keep going, like, how it went this last month, it's only ha that I have, like, two and a bit months left in it. So, yeah. I'm happy to be getting that out of my collection soonish. So, yeah. And that's for us, right? Yeah, Sesame Street. Next is for T is the NYX teal glitter. And I only have I used it once. And there's only that tiniest bit amount. And I did do the a full glitter thing where I like painted it, painted these, and then I dipped it in the glitter. And I don't think there's enough for that again. So I think I might just do like sprinkle it on top. The next time I do it, but it might be like a month until I do it. But for right now, I'm calling this done. Because I think there's only, I'm only to do like a sprinkle glitter thing with it once. And it's good enough for me. Because I've used it like six times within this project. And like this, I, I'm sorry Nelly. I didn't mean to go on your tail. But this is like basically empty too. I've called like glitters, like this nail glitters, like this, like empty before. Cause, yeah, it's just that it's such a like perfect color match kind of with this that um that I'm like I'll I'll just use it one more time and then it will be done. So yeah, but I'm calling it done for this project because I want like I don't want to stay on it anymore so yeah and then is this the last thing I'm updating on no no it's not okay next is for you and that's the it cosmetics bye bye under eye concealer which I decanted into this I just like squeezed out because it was in a little squeezy tube and it has twice as much product as I thought there was but you see how much product there is like, I thought it was just to barely cover the bottom, and no, this is how much there is. Which I decanted it pretty early after last update, but um, I didn't take a picture because I was like, I don't want to take a picture. But I've used it 13 times. But like, I literally, but I am gonna be taking pictures now. But I literally just. This is the brush I use for concealer, which I just use it for placement. I don't use it because I use my finger to blend. But yeah. So basically, every time I use concealer, I use that much. That's all I use. Every single time I use concealer. Which is very little. That's like no other YouTuber person uses this amount. Like... But this is a very thick concealer, so it like goes really far, but I just spot concealer too. So I just put my primer on and then I concealer I conceal before I put foundation. Like I put it over my like blemishes and then I like I just put a little dot on my blemishes and then I use my fingers to just pat it in and that's all I use. So it takes me forever, but yeah. You could see that I'm starting to get a little dip in there. I don't know if this formula, if it will let me just burrow down. But I am going to just keep reaching for it in that one spot. And if I can hit like the bottom, that's great. And then I can just work on expanding or whatever. But this has... I don't think I'm going to finish it this year. I think this is at least two years worth of concealer for me. And it, like, is very discouraging. 
like after I depotted I was like so upset I was like I thought I was so much further along than I was and it just was like <sighs> I really should buy concealer ever again <laughs> really like it's concealer lasts me years and it's annoying <laughs> Maybe it's not annoying, but I find it's annoying because I like to try new things. And I was really hoping to get a new concealer this year. But if that still lasts me at least another two, three years. Because I've already been working on This is the third year I think I'm working on it. Third or fourth year that I'm working on it. And there's still so much of it. I'm like, wow. I still have one other concealer that it only is the third of the two, but still, it's like that's gonna take me at least two years to finish that one off, too. But yeah, I may still just at the end of the year buy a new concealer because this is one that I've been wanting to try, but I don't know. I am discouraged, but yeah. And then, last but not least, is for V. And that's the Simple Pleasures Vanilla Lip Gloss, which is that much use. Which, I still got pretty good use, even though I didn't use this for like a week. Because I got a pimple right, it's kind of still there. Right above my cupid's bow. It was really painful for a while. Like, I didn't wear makeup on it for like five or six days. Because it was like so painful and big and just annoying because I've had one other pimple right by my lip it was like here and it was really big but then I kept messing with it this was when I was like 19 years old so like 10 years ago um and I kept messing with it and then I had to be put on antibiotics because it sw swole like my entire bo bottom lip like two to three times the size and I was like okay this one I, I, I didn't mess with at all I put warm compresses on it like three four times a day and yeah it still hurt for like three or four days before it started to like go down and it's still kind of still there even though I've had it for like a week and a half maybe two weeks at this point but um it's going still going down even though I'm like putting makeup on it now it's like doesn't hurt and it seems to be going down so that's fine but yeah have progress on that so that's everything and that's all I have to say thank you so much for watching and bye